So let's get, we're going to check out some news and headlines from around the world about uh, Tate being locked up. Uh, as you may or may not know, um, the Tate brothers are locked up right now. They have a bunch of charges pending against them, um, which are probably big cap. Um, if an old man in America could get chicks, Hugh Hefner had chicks for years and years, and no one said a damn thing about it. And uh, that wasn't crazy. But a young man who's attractive with money is crazy. So you got if you're old and you're attractive, or you used to be attractive and you have money, then that's different. You know what I mean? So I'm sure most of this is cap or whatever. Like, listen, like, I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm a family man now. But I had a life when I was younger. And um, and I wasn't rich. I was, I mean, I wouldn't even say wealthy. I was decent or okay. And what I can say from personal experience is that people are usually down. You know what I mean? And I'm saying I've been in a home I own myself before. A pretty big house in a nice area, decent area, whatever you want to call it. Um with multiple female companions who were there to hang out with me and there was everything was consensual these were multiple people at one time who were friends and they're hanging out and they're partying and it's just a different it's a different lifestyle like you know what I mean it's a different lifestyle and some people are into that and uh what I can say is no one's like trying to grab you up and keep you in there it's just like oh yeah do what you want to do and most times, people want to stay, and they want to be around a party, and they want to hang out with the guys, with the cars, and the jewelry, and the money, and that's that's how it was. You know what I mean? And uh, I couldn't imagine it on this level. I mean, I grew up in Los Angeles, so I could, but at the same time, like, on this level of money and different things like that, like, I could just imagine how much cap it is, because people want money. You know what I mean? You could give people money, like, here go this, here go that. Every artist like throw people money like here throw some hush money like we hooked up here go some money because i got a life or i'm just that's what you do that's just it's just a known thing in every drake song and every anyone song you hear them say you know what i mean here do the girl bins or a condo you know what i mean what they say what's, what's, your, what's your cash app like come on man like stop playing games people you know what the world is and vice versa i'm sure it's the same with female artists like come on and Andrew Tate has been arrested. Uh, Nick, you uh, know a fair few things about Andrew Tate. You'll be able to fill us in on Yeah, I have time for me to get cancelled again on Twitter. <laughs> so, yeah, Andrew Tate held in Romania on suspicion of human trafficking, so... I feel like I'm tripping, but you look back at that dude, tell me he don't look like Jack. Don't he look like Jack the guy? Don't? The boy look just like Jack. Crazy. Uh, they've done this raid in his house and they're claiming that the four suspects appear to have created an organized crime group with the purpose of recruiting, housing and exploiting women by force. That's old fat Jack. That's Jack. The Jack set the guy when he get old. Somebody, if anybody watching this video, man, come on, clip that. Let's get it going, baby. ...them to create pornographic content meant to be seen on specialized websites for a cost. So it doesn't sound good, but now Tate has always claimed... Sounds normal. Sounds like what, what everyone does nowadays. Everybody has individual OnlyFans and they're saying that he's... Grabbing people up to force them to do it? Come on, man. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. That these webcam studios, he's always admitted to having webcam studios, but he yeah. said they were totally consensual and legal. So the big question is, you know, is this, is, has he done this, or is it just the, what he would call a matrix attack? Now... What does it, what, a matrix attack? Yeah, he believes that, he's always, he talks in terms of the metaphor of the matrix, he's like, escaped the matrix, taking the red pill, but I everyone else like is... I slow motion bullet thing. Yeah, well, it, it, it does mean that in a metaphorical way, but... So I've been getting attacked on Twitter for defending uh, Tate because I, I believe... I'm one of the last people in the West, apparently, to believe in innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. So Tate's been saying for a while that they're going to attack me like... It's real that he said that. Innocent to proven guilty, man. Come on, man. The world is the world is the other way around. It's guilty to proven innocent. It's sickening, dude. It's sickening. And it's, it's awesome that he popped up and that he's showing some light on it. Because if not, we just got to believe everybody else, everyone else's truths that are obviously lies and they're false and they're fake. And it's always been like this. But, you know what I mean? The media does what the media wants to do. Like, people got to be honest. The truth is what the actual truth is. It's not what you want it to be just because it's comfortable for you to sleep at night, to live in your lies, and to pretend like they're truths to everyone else. You know what I mean? The truth is the truth. You gotta be a realist with it. The truth is the truth. Any way you go, 
And you can say, well, this is what I like to do. It's probably not right, but this is what I like to do. And that's fine. But can't be capping, bro. People be... Like this, they, they tried to cancel me. It didn't work, which was quite a powerful thing. They tried to cancel him. They banned him from social media. He's back on Twitter. All the podcasts said, we're just going to put him on anyway. And so the people kind of rejected it. And then he's been saying they're going to next they'll use lawfare. Now, if you're against that, you'll say, well, okay, he's planted the idea because he knew something like this was going to happen. So now everyone will say it's fake. But the alternative is they simply are persecuting him. So well, the, we isn't don't the know. Truth that we don't know. We don't actually, know. To say we don't know is probably the sensible thing. We're seeing footage there of him yeah. being arrested there. But Steve, that is surely the point, isn't it? It's crazy that they show, like, uh, they show this stuff on his table. They show the, um, the guns, the, the, what are they, like, uh, I don't know if those are 40s or 9 millimeters or probably, like, P111, 9 millimeters, but they show the, the guns and they show the swords when, like, you could have a gun in, in that country, you know what I mean? And you, just like you could have a gun in the U.S., if you came to the U.S. to his crib, like, you have ARs and AKs and all kind of stuff on my table because it's legal. I could have that to protect my home. You know what I mean? And the swords, they're obviously decoration. It's not like this the medieval times. Like, who really run around with a fucking sword? He ain't no damn ninja or a knight, you know? Now, innocent until proven what? guilty is something we need to hold on to. It is. I mean, let's not conflate two issues. It, it, legally, he is still innocent until proven guilty. The internet is probably having a whiff of schadenfreude when someone you disagree with gets arrested. Yeah, so I totally that. Yeah, it? I totally. I mean, that doesn't breach innocent until proven no, guilty. No, That's what the internet's like. And also, just to try and fall out with you for no good reason, I agree, innocent until proven guilty. But does that mean we shouldn't have had as much? Uh, noise about Hunter Biden until something was proved. Right. I well, we didn't, though, did we? And that's interesting because we didn't have noise about that. Epstein, everyone on the Epstein Island seems to have got away with it. But, you know, the, Jimmy Savile got away with <laughs> This boy, he better watch what he say. He's going to end up kicking him off that network. But that's true. They did get away with it. People get away with stuff forever. And they have been getting away with the stuff and they will continue to get away with stuff. But people who live in the open, who aren't trying to get away with stuff, who actually live that, that kind of lifestyle, which people are like, oh, that becomes a problem because people see it. But people, a lot of people, which we don't understand, is like these people aren't underage. This is not, it was not doing, it's not a sex ring. It's not Epstein's type of sex ring. This is the type of thing that people are into. Like, if you go on Tinder, you'll see a bunch of young women, 20, I would say 22 to shit, 42, who are into like some like choke hold, BDSM, my partner wants to watch. Like, it's a lot of people who are into that type of stuff. It's a lot of, it's a lot of pineapples outside of a lot of doors, okay? I worked for FedEx for six years. A lot of people try to get me to, you know, deliver that package inside. You know what I mean? They're like, hey, I'm just sitting on my table. You know what I mean? I mean, men and women. They're like, hey, you just bring the package in. You ever need to come over, use the bathroom, get something to eat? You just want to hang out and talk? Excuse me? Excuse me? You just want to hang out and talk? What? And I mean, I'm, I mean, to the point where, you know, you deliver to a to a to a, a woman or a man, and the person will have you come in, and you'll be like, "Hey," you know, they'll be like, "Oh, this is my wife, or this is my husband." Didn't I tell you about the delivery person? Super nice, very attractive. Isn't weren't they attractive? Like, <laughs> you just like, oh, okay, um, hey, how you doing? Now, you know, for me, I want my cup of tea. I'm sure some delivery drivers or other people, you know, you know, get all up in whatever little mix mix they got going. But I'm just saying, like, it's not crazy. People always think these things are crazy. I'm going to tell you guys about a worldwide technology story in a different video about how I got finessed. And when you hear it, you're going to be like, I'm telling you, I'm going to drop that. I'm going to drop that. Away with it for years. People seem to get away with something. And then other people get accused of things they didn't do. So, look, if, if Tate really is doing R. Kelly type things, obviously he should be punished, right? I'm very clear on that. But I'm also very concerned about two things state and overreach and overreach by authorities and then mob mentality on Twitter. So I think that. Julian Assange was mistreated. I also think Tommy Robinson was mistreated and Alex Jones, all these people. I tend to side instinctively have at least sympathy, at least, at least reserve judgment and side with the individual. I mean, well, Nikki, I, uh, Steve, Steve it does make a good point about schadenfreude as well, the timing of this, because this yeah. has come off the back of this spat with Greta Thunberg yes. and Andrew Tate and then the, his response video with the pizza box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Bruh, don't be arguing with no blue-eyed blonde women. You already know. I don't care if your mama was white and black at the end of the day. Don't be arguing with them. Come on, bro. You don't get no whiter, more whiter than a Swedish woman, bro. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's, that's blind hair. That's blue eyes, bro. You look down when they speak to you. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Like, sad. Slave mentality. That shit is real, though.
And this the accusation here. was that because he, he, he revealed his address by having a Romanian pizza box, that's how true, they found it? it. No, I don't believe it's true. No, it's funny, though. It's one of those... Yeah, they, it's like the David Cameron and the pig. It might not be true, but it yeah, would Yeah, it's a good narrative. Right, OK. It's a good joke for Twitter. The, there's yeah. a deeper conspiracy. The, the people who arrested him, their organisation is called Greta. It's an, an acronym. So if you really want to go down the oh, rabbit hole... That's that, 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 that no. rabbit hole is not one for me. I must admit, I don't know a lot about Andrew Tate's work, because doesn't he have a university where he teaches men how to pull or something? I've clearly never needed that. <laughs> uh, you've got that inbuilt Slate? charisma and sexual magnetism. No one knows you, how, but absolutely. You, but uh, fine, I'm off of the stick. Can, can I just say to Listen. Dude might be balding, but women are into that, okay? We didn't need it. A lot of us don't need it, but a lot of us do need it. And the ones of us who don't need it still respect him because we know that it's real. You know what I mean? Andrew Tate, 100% real. I'm going to be honest right now. Fresh and fit, Myron and whatever his name is, fresh and fit or whatever. I think them dudes is clowns. You know what I mean? For the most part, I think they're clowns because they're cat-like. They present themselves as like they up here, but they not. They're not really like they not like. Listen, I know niggas that's poor, that's pulling. You know what I mean? That's getting the rich girls. Like they're not. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah, like they're getting up there with their wealth now. But like to say like yeah, we always been out for men. We're this and that. Like nah, them dudes is capping. Top G is top G. Like he said, listen, he was the top G before he was rich. When he was a rookie, he was still the top G. Some of us just got to talk, we got to walk, we got to look. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to say I'm all that, but it just, it was boring. Either, either it is or it isn't. You know what I mean? And then some of us, you know, are made into that, which is people that's learning. You know what I mean? And now they're learning from other people. And, you know, sometimes it'll work. Confidence is the thing. Sometimes it won't. But, you know, if you work in all aspects in your life, man, it's boring. Two quick things, though. You are right about the Sean Ford. The left want to get him because they, they don't like him anyway. And conservatives have been tweeting me. They want to get him because he doesn't uphold their moral principles. So, yes, there's a lot of Sean Ford going on. But uh, that's going to happen. But also, these controversial people, they will be the test cases for things like free speech or things like law. And, and due process. Sense. Yes, due process. Because it's not going to be someone who's just baking cookies for everyone in the neighborhood. Yeah. It's going to be a Tate or a Julian Assange or someone. But you have to make sure that it is innocent until proven guilty. And if proven guilty, that means something. There is a risk that you have innocent until proven guilty. And then I'll just say it was all a stitch up anyway from the start. Well, yeah. Because that's not a legal system that works. You know, no, if you buy into that, then we want to step away from not having a. Anyway. I respect that. I respect that because that was a newscast that was speaking some truth. So that's the GBN. It's Britain's uh, news channel. So you know what I mean? I think the news is speaking some truth. I like that because they weren't one sided. They were, they was really in between and the other dude was maybe on Tate's side. And the other dude was like, hey, you know what I mean? It is what it is, man. Um, shout out to the Brits, man. I was born in the wrong country. Okay? Wrong country. Subscribe to the channel, boys. Subscribe.